Aloha everybody and welcome back as you can see we were just getting better into this time to get back into character as I turned on the hallway light expecting to see something ungodly and ungrossly in the end of the hallway I shut the door behind me I wouldn't want any uninvited guests showing up where they didn't belong again I regret bringing not bringing my flashlight. As I look into the door, I see several artifacts, several pieces of history that need to be unraveled. The girl in question had pink hair from an anime. Name on the tag reads Destro. I'm guessing G.I. Joe. Or this must be Destro before the accident that turned him bald picture in general. I need to put it in my height. It's a f curious to how a picture could stop a cabinet like that. This picture needs to go with me for evidence. Be back for it. Oscar Doc Nason. 60. Boone County. Died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, 1933. In the house that would be his home. The rest of his life attained his degree in pharmaceutical. At a young age, he returned to Boone County in practice. He quickly became well loved as a professional rester. He rests everywhere, whether it was Tempur Pedic, IKEA. Even on tabletops and desks, passing through seldom inside his home. Hope the Sunday in the first of them. So, will come. Survivors include his nephew Terrence, screaming. Hmm. Curious. This house is making noises. Noises I'm not a fan of. Pull the string. Lock myself in here in case I get jumped by Boogeyman. Heavens to Betsy. Looks like a looks like a piece of meatloaf on the side of it. Curious. Why would they have a button with meatloaf? Hmm. Put it in the box for later. Day of class. It's like a laundry. Oh. oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name. But they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I ran into a hidden message recording inside that note. It's fascinating what technology is doing nowadays in 1995. Interesting. to be a form of exemption. Electrical inspectors. Child's name is Terrence. Afrigo mentioned picture in the drawer must have been his father. This must be the father we're speaking of. The one that decided to go crazy. That is the loudest fan in the history of fans. Killing of JFK. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth, Benjamin Almont. Important look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. This book right here is uh, one we read in high school. I remember it. The red, white, and blue picturing. That poor train didn't get to the station in time. 
markers indicate that there is a lot of huffing involved. Brightness, off brand Canadian. Looks like this one never got used. That poor junkie. More scattered papers throughout. Apparently, my eyes can adjust to the darkness because I can't read them. You can do better. What if a JFK wasn't AFK? Japanese, Lebanese. Psychotic mumbles and grumbles of someone who's trying to decipher why they had to go to work that day. It says so right there in the text. Magic bullet theory. Everyone knows and everyone's been around that the fact that the magic bullet theory... I don't want any. The magic bullet theory... It's all part of a hoax. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. Very interesting. The psychotic rambling that used to be a child. Hmm. I'm not thirsty right now. I knew and I started moving on. This trail's getting me nowhere. And quick. I walk into the next room. Looks to be a sort of penthouse suite. Stripper poles. Grace the floors. You can smell the pitter patter of the wet ground outside. Drug paraphernalia all over the place. Must have been their smoking den. I do care. I do care. Hmm. Interesting. The small pitter patter of feet on the windows and the doors. So that to tell me that this wasn't. I'm not the only one in this house. Like a friend had a uh, unique obsession. Hmm. The woman on the back of the page suggests that no, it couldn't be. Could it? I need to take this back with evidence. Dragons outside warn me that time is getting close at hand. I must find the clues and put this murder mystery to rest. <clears throat> that was the father's office. I was just in. Not 100% sure where I'm going or what I'm doing with my life. Chasing wild dreams. Or just digging myself deeper into this grave I've already dug. The lamp turned on without a hitch, despite the fact that there was a green coffee mug. Everyone knows that green coffee mugs and lamps can't coexist. Before I could hear the rest of the counties, I decided to turn the TV off. I circled a crotch. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. 
But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. More drug paraphernalia found. Like, suggest these people were really high into the Mary Jane, literally and physically. Checking every nook and cranny, I have yet to find anything really leading me to the expulsion. I did decide, however, to put the. Hmm. Did not want to shut. Interesting. Again, the name Terrence was awfully mentioned. But Terrence will just have to wait for another day. When we return, we will continue to unravel the clues and mysteries that is this house and get down where the murder actually was and has taken place as always I love you all and I thank you all oh, bye bye